Tracking Pat here, and now we're going to do a basic video on how to do mirror imaging in the ProTrack SMX. Okay, so I'm going to start out here. I'm going to go back to my mode key, and I'm going to be in the program mode. Okay, and I'm just going to go to the end of this because my last video I just did showed how to do a profile on half of this block and blend these two radii, and now I'm going to show how to mirror that to get the other side. Okay, so I'm on event five. I'm going to hit the more key. I'm going to go to subroutine. I'm going to select mirror. Okay, first thing it's asking me is what do I want to mirror? I have four events in my original profile. I'm going to mirror all four. So my first event is one. My last event is four. And now it's asking me for the cutting order. It says either forward or backwards. And what it's saying is if I go forward, it's going to go back to the top and it's going to cut around here in an exact mirror image of what I did the first time. If I say backward, it's going to allow me to reverse the order and start here and go this way. The reason I'm going to choose backwards is so that it climb mills the second half of the part just like it did the first half of the part. So I'm going to say two for backwards. It's asking me the mirror axis. This one kind of stumps some people. So what it's saying is, am I using the X, the Y, or both? In this case, I'm taking everything I did here and I'm flipping it over the Y axis to get it over here, right? So yes, I'm moving an X, but the mirror axis is the Y axis that I'm going over. So I'm going to select Y. And now it says, okay, I need an X offset. So it's saying, where is that imaginary line? It's in the middle of my five by five block, which makes it two and a half inches, right? So if I push the look button, now it looks like a complete square, even though it's in two pieces, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the run mode, but this time, instead of starting at the beginning, because I've already cut this part, I'm gonna start at event number five, okay? And it says, well, when you're ready, press go. So when I press go, this time I got the, the RSG over here so I can use this to play a go and not be in the way of the camera. So I'm going to push that. Tells me again, start your spindle, right? And when you're ready, push go. So I'm going to push go here. And you can see that it came down in the opposite side and it's going to work towards the left side of the piece part. And there you go. So that should give you a brief idea on how to use mirror image. Keep in mind that you can also use copy mirror. So for instance, instead of using subroutine mirror, if I would have used copy mirror, it would have made new pieces, which would have went five, six, seven, and eight. And with those, if I wanted to change one of these radii to be different than the half inch, I could do that and it would not affect the original part. Okay. You can also mirror, of course, over the x-axis moving from top to bottom or bottom to top. And you can mirror over both axes and actually go from one corner to the kitty corner part of it. Okay, so that should give you a good explanation on how this works. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.